covering Colorado tonight, an emotional day for family, friends, and fans of Beth Chapman. The Colorado native and star of The Dog, the Bounty Hunter died late last month. Today, an Aurora church was filled with those who loved her. Our Dylan Thomas was at the service in Aurora. Dylan? Tori was obvious just by the reactions of those in attendance that Beth Chapman is more than a wife. She was more than a bounty hunter. She was a TV star beloved by many in America, especially here in Colorado where she lived. And many gathered today to say farewell to that reality TV star. Hundreds of phones lifted up in the air as cameras were ready for Dog the Bounty Hunter as he entered the room for his wife's celebration of life. Some from the public were cheering, barking, and chanting for him as he walked in. Those I spoke with said they fell in love with Dog and Beth Chapman through their show. The fact they lived in Colorado made them feel even closer to the duo. Chapman died last month after a long battle with cancer. Dog saying she knew what was coming, yet he refused to accept it until the day came. Friends and even Dog himself said the duo shared a love which was shared on national TV. For a dog, I've never seen ever anyone love so completely as she did of you. She was and is and remains dog's most wanted. I can't not believe that she's gone. This is not possible. I want to wake up from a dream. In the 70s, I did 18 months in the Texas Penitentiary, and I told God yesterday, I'd do five years, 10 years, day for day, just to kiss her again. I never felt like this. A tough moment with tears shared on the stage and out in the audience. Dog the Bounty Hunter telling the audience they started shooting a new store right before, uh, a new show, I should say, right before his wife passed away. And she was encouraged not to participate in that show due to her health. But instead, she went out and was part of the show and used her story, her battle with cancer, to encourage others to stop wasting their lives on crime and drugs and rather do something good with it. Live in Aurora, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Thank you, Dylan.